So hello and welcome everybody to the PS2 Gauntlet. I almost said the Just One More Level podcast. I am not recording the Just One More Level podcast at the moment. Excuse me. Um, no, the PS2 Gauntlet. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, this is where I am attempting to collect and stream every PlayStation 2 game released in North America. At least the ones that I can stream, I'll be streaming. There are, of course, some that I can't for one reason or another. And tonight we're playing a little bit of Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. I've never actually played this game before that I can remember. I I know I have played one or two Hitman games. But I can't remember which ones those were. I'm tempted to go straight into professional. I like playing games on harder difficulties. I do it pretty often. But since I know so little about this series, I think it would be better for me to start with either normal or expert. I'm thinking maybe normal. Sounds like a pretty decent idea. Do it, GoPro. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. We'll probably get screwed, but sure, we'll give it a try. <laughs> Starting out in Sicily. Cool, cool. Of course, the Hitman series is a series that's still going on to this day, although I believe they've changed up the formula a little bit. Seems like the main draw of the new one is kind of playing user downloaded levels and stuff like that. From what, I, from what I've read, I haven't played, obviously. Oh, Nate! Another 2,000 for the 12 hour stream challenge. Thank you, man. That's 4,000 out of what, 12,500? We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. How many more points you got, man? You don't actually have to tell me, I was just curious. Bruh, thank you. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. It helps out a lot, honestly. It really does. Even just the the onesie twosie ones. It's a huge help. So thank you. How uh how how screwed are we playing on pro here, Nate? <laughs> I feel like it's probably gonna be pretty bad. Okay, garden shed. This is your home. You move with the left analog stick. Look around and turn with the right analog stick. A little weird how stiff he looks, but... Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for being here as well. And uh, if you can hear me, Nate, I, I did pick. I, I went pro. <laughs> I went pro and said thanks for the bits. Because I appreciate it, man, every little bit. Literally. Okay, so... This is our home. Look through keyhole. You can open the door by tapping X. Oh, can we... Wait, how do we... Okay, so you hold X, and you can pick... Okay, a little weird on the control scheme there, but... Can make it work. Buongiorno, figlio mio. Come va? Padre, I'm okay. But I must speak with you. Salve, figlio mio. Be quiet, you must son. We have a saying here in Sicily. Non saggio, non vedo, non cerco. So, if you want to open your heart, the only safe place is a confession in church. Meet me there, Lord. So, does this come straight from the last game, like into this one? Okay. Okay. Turn the speech up a little bit. Okay. Make sure that we can hear. Escape from speech and cutscenes by pressing X. Go to the rune for basic moves training. Start by walking to the door. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm, I'm assuming this is like straight from the second game. That was weird how we like, how he crouched down there. <laughs> okay, so we can look through keyhole. No, oh, I don't like the breathing sound effects. I just I just don't like breathing sound effects in general. 
the sound of breathing really bugs me. Surprising lack of music. Press and hold the L1 button to crouch and then move forward. Okay. Get that. You know very well it does. <laughs> Mr. Noodle. If you don't fall, falling from this height or above will hurt. Okay. So falling hurts. Got it. Run by holding down the L2 button and holding forward. Okay. Can we invert controls, maybe? Vibration mode? Yeah, turn on vibration. Why wouldn't we? Uh, it's kind of weird that they call it up-down aim. I mean, <laughs> just used to knowing it as, you know, vertical. But, hey, whatever. Okay, we can scare doves, so I'm assuming that's a way that things could end up hearing us, or people could end up hearing us. You can hear at least if you do audio only. <laughs> okay, well, sorry the video's not working for you. Yeah, I wasn't lucky enough to get selected by the transcoder tonight, it looks like. So, uh, it's full quality only. And uh, Creepy Scarecrow follows us, so that's cool. Uh, I did end up selecting Pro. How screwed am I, Nate? I'm assuming uh, pretty screwed, to be honest, since I've never actually played through like a Hitman game before. I'm, I'm sure I've tried them at some point, or at least one or two of them, but I don't remember which ones or anything. Okay, so we can't go in there. Can we do anything with the window? Maybe it's time to go to confession, okay. Looks like uh, that's where we'll store our guns and crap eventually. Once we have all that sort of stuff. There's little piggies, look at the little piggies. Oh, we can actually go in there. Can we, can we pet the piggies? They're scared of us. Okay, they don't actually seem that scared. Not really doing anything though either. I can't interact with them or anything. So when I could say hi to the piggies. Is this where we're going to confession it? Oh, nope. This is just more area. Okay. So maybe that's the one that we go through. I'm assuming there's not like some huge secrets in the beginning of the game where we need to explore everything. I'm sure there will be secrets and stuff later, but... Mr. Noodle cheered five bits. Thank you, Mr. Noodle. I didn't even know you had any bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Love you. Okay, how do we... Where are we going, I guess, is the real question here. I mean, confession, I know that much. I'm assuming confession isn't going to be on the next floor. <laughs> here we go. There we go, confession box. Padre, I have sinned. Avanti, figlio mio. Continue, my son. I have done some terrible things in my life. I... I have killed... many people. For money, out of ignorance, out of evil, out of hatred. Figlio mio, I know you well. You are also a good person. I've seen you taking care of the garden. I know of the large amount of money you donated to the church. Your soul is on the right path. But father, I do not belong. I'm not of this world. So why should God forgive me? Do not worry, my son. When your time comes, he will have a place for you as well. Just keep God in your heart. Now I must leave. Stay a while and pray. Lead me, O oh Heavenly Father, in the path of right. I walk alone and stumble in the dark. Show me the light and I'll go there. Let me find peace in my own heart and save me from my enemies. So wait, when he says I'm not of this earth, does he mean literally? Purtroppo la chiesa è chiusa. Vendite domani, per favore. Benvenuto, vecchio amico mio. Non è questo il momento di darci appuntamento. Aiutatemi, lasciatemi, lasciatemi, per favore. Why are they beating a priest? That... <laughs> what the heck is that? Porca roia, taci! Stai giù, giù, giù! <laughs> Seems a little ridiculous. Are they after me? I'm assuming they're after me. But are we not human or something? The hitman? 
the whole like I'm not of this world thing is what's got me confused. He says, all good. Like I said, it's my service. It's been a minute since I played that specific one, but Pro is always a challenge. Heck, that game is one where it is either easy or you're praying to your god. God's difficult. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so what you're saying is we're definitely screwed. Cool. <laughs> At least that's how it went for you, yeah. I, I don't expect to fare a whole lot better, to be honest. I know very little about the Hitman franchise. Find the parcel. I mean, it was on the main floor, right? Just had to go back out the door here, I assume, the same way we came in. Look through the keyhole. Okay, I don't see anybody. Is there even a keyhole on this door? Doesn't really look like it. Okay. We got the parcel. What's in the parcel? Also, why am I wearing an apron? Benvenuto in Sicilia, Bersano. We hope you've enjoyed the famous Italian hospitality on our beautiful island. However, there will be a slight charge for your stay. You will prepare a cash transfer of $500,000. No later than midnight the day after tomorrow. Meanwhile, we'll be entertaining your host, Padre Vittorio. He very much enjoys fishing. We are making sure he is happy that way until payment has been effected. Le sentirà de noi, Giuseppe Giuliano. Five hundred thousand dollars. Can't pay that. I'm going to the garden shed. Time to dig up the past. So this is basically like we got out of the game in the first one or whatever, and like we we stopped being an assassin, I'm guessing. And now we have to return to it because, you know, people want to be dicks. It's kind of what I'm figuring here. Uh maybe it's probably because I just watched it, but it's reminding me, you know, John Wick. <laughs> assassin forced to get back into the game because nasty people are nasty. Uh, why can't I go through the door? Isn't this the way I came in? It said he was working his way up and was like, oh, you can definitely do pro. And then I was like, nope. <laughs> but it was a fun challenge. I mean, I definitely like a challenge, so I'm all for trying it out. And we'll see if I just get destroyed or not. We can always turn it back down and go down to normal or, or whatever, if need be. Okay. I thought when it said to go to the shed, I thought it was talking about that place, but I guess maybe the actual, like where we started at. Last one you played was a good bit, was Agency. one on 360. Patch me through to Diana. We need to confirm your ID registration, please. My number is BRO3886. Put Diana on, she'll recognize my voice. 47? This is Diana speaking. It's good to hear your voice again. We all thought you were dead. You'll be pleased to know your skills are in great demand these days. You're almost a legend amongst our customers. Diana, I'm not looking for work. I need some information on a Giuseppe Giuliano from Palermo, Sicily. What have you got? Let me see, Giuseppe. Oh yes, I've got a fat file. Giuseppe Giuliano, aka Don Aguilo Giuliano. Capo of one of the largest, oldest, and most influential mafia organizations in Sicily. I need detailed satellite surveillance on his residence, and info on security and access routes. And keep an eye out for a priest. He's a friend of mine and was kidnapped. A friend? Have you gone soft, 47? Besides, we don't believe in handing over information for free. How do you think you're going to pay us back? I've heard that you're extremely wealthy. Yes, I know. I've heard that rumor, too. It's not true, though. But I'm sure you can suggest an arrangement. I'll pull a few strings and see what I can do. Actually, I do have a special request for you to perform a contract assignment. Should be a simple operation. A mission? Exactly. If you accept, I might be able to give you the requested information very soon. What do you say, 47? Still sharp enough to handle a job these days? 
Oh, I think we can handle it. It's Maybe. So let's just run through the basic talk, 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 talk. Okay. Whatever. Uh, sure you're not too if you the last one you play, he went rogue in. Nice. You don't remember which one that was, though, do you? If you're ready, you can enter your garden shed and start the mission by activating the laptop. Is this how we... Practice? I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, this is the church. Okay. Triangle is inventory. So we have a silver baller, 45 semi-automatic handgun. And a kitchen knife. We also have some lockpicks. Okay. It's cool. And then, to shoot, press the R1 button. You can reload manually by pressing the R2 button. See if you can hit the bucket hanging at the well. Maybe. How do I pull out my gun? Ah, hold square. Okay. Add ammo, you can walk to the tool shed to collect more. More important weapon there is there for you. Alright. Trolls are a little bit weird. L2 to sprint. R1 to shoot. Most locked doors can be picked. Hold down X, scroll down to pick lock, and release X. How do we... Okay. So we can put stuff away by going back into this menu and just selecting the same thing again. Do we attack? Yeah, we attack with the same button we shoot with. That makes sense. Okay. Pick lock. Do we have to do anything or does it just pick them? Them pigs do not sound too happy. Jesus. Looks like there's a wide array of weapons we can collect, though. That's pretty cool. Some ammo. Nice. Tool shed. Your weaponry. This is where all weapons which you bring back from missions will be stored and freely available for other missions. You can pick them up by using the action button. Okay. Unless I'm blind. Pick up fiber wire. Oh, that's uh, what we use to, like, strangle people, right? And then anesthetic. Okay, well, I don't really need to be... Holding the anesthetic, you can <laughs> you can put it away there, bro. Okay, that's weird. The door got stuck. Hit me an absolution. I've heard of that one. I really can't remember which one it is that I played though. Walk to the scarecrow. Okay, where was the scarecrow again? I saw it before. It's over here. Yeah, the weird one that whose head follows us. Oh no, it said what to do, but I can't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay. You can sneak with L1, I get that. Am I using the fiber wire, I guess? Sneak up behind him. So it's possible you have to crouch, press and hold L1 button to try it out. Done. Oh, <laughs> I think the uh, I think the scarecrow glitched out a little bit there. <clears throat> you can lean by pressing the left or right directional buttons when we're doing. Oh, okay, just when we're standing. Okay, if you double press left or right directional button buttons, you can make a side step. Uh, <clears throat> doesn't seem like we're sidestepping. There we go. So you gotta like double press and then that's that's a little jank. <laughs> the camera camera gets a little shaky here when you're when you're trying to sidestep. Okay, you can toggle by just pressing L1. But if you wanna be like toggle regular sneak, but if you wanna be super stealthy, you have to hold it all the way down. Okay. Cool. What do we do now? Wish these pigs would calm the hell down. Lean up by pressing down 
the left or right directional buttons. Okay, we, we did all that. Now what? So restart, continue. nothing in the menu. <clears throat> you double press left or right, okay. Got that. We, we, we killed the scarecrow, he's dead. <laughs> Don't know what to do now. Okay, go to your laptop in the garden shed and start your mission from there. Okay. So that's the our room, right? Where we started the game from. Yeah. Sure, we'll save. Might as well. No, do not cancel. Create. Game's surprisingly quiet without any music or anything playing in it. Guess maybe they were going for those, like stealth vibes and whatnot but i don't really know save successful sick sick forty seven this is diana from agency we're all happy you're back doing business for us this mutual arrangement we made to rescue your friend and mentor, Father Vittorio, means you will have to take care of a number of Mafia members residing at the Villa Borghese, where he is kept hostage in the basement. Prime target is Don Giuliani. Security is not exactly lax. Plenty of guards roaming the mansion compound. However, don't expect to free Vittorio just like that. The Don is running a tight ship, and if alarmed, he will probably kill the hostage and escape. They're used to people coming to pay respect, ransoms or bribes, but they are alerted by unusual activities. Check out the map we have of the grounds, Buena Fortuna 47. Okay, so we have a map. If we do anything suspicious, he'll probably kill our friend. That makes sense. So it seems like it's still heavily level-based, like the newer Hitman games are, from what I've heard. But the newer Hitman games are more about the user-created levels or whatever, right? It's kind of the sense I've gotten. It's like a fairly large level, though. Um, okay, do we have, like, binoculars or something? Just the stuff we brought with us, right? Okay, no, we do have binoculars. Cool. We zoom in and out. We can. That's helpful. So can we, like, kill that guy and take his clothes? I know so little about the game. I honestly don't know. Okay, I mean, nobody should be able to see me right now. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, he's just chilling. Why is he just chilling there like that? That's weird. Okay, we want to sneak up on him. We have five doses of anesthetic, so... Oh, he's moving. I think we took too long. <laughs> no stealth. Can we, can we take his clothes, too? Or Oh, wait. Uh, 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 he's alive? Why is he alive? <laughs> I, I thought he was gonna, I thought the anesthetic would work longer than, you know, a couple of seconds. Uh, hello? <laughs> we'll just restart that. Oh, Lord. Okay, so the anesthetic only knocked him down for, like, a couple seconds. Either that or we screwed up the anesthetic. One or the other. Or both. Probably a bit of, bit of, bit of both, really. But I don't think we want to do it that way, though. I think we want to maybe, uh, I guess we'll just strangle him. But <laughs> I don't, uh, don't know what else to do. Mr. Noodle says she doesn't remember this being the game she thought I was playing. Well, I didn't know if you were going to be watching or not tonight. Like, actually watching, watching. 
And I didn't want to lose this one because this is one of the only games that I have loose. I don't have a case for or anything. So I, uh... So I, uh, just put it... I just put it in. So I wouldn't lose it. Figured get it out of the way. We'll do, uh, what was it you wanted to see? Piglet's Big Game? Big Adventure? Whatever it's called? We'll do that soon, though. Wow, how rude. Well, yeah, see, you're not even going to watch anyway, so what do you care if I play Piglet's Big Adventure tonight or not? You don't want to see it anymore? Okay, well, fine then. Ah, I can't take clothes. That's what I was wanting to do. Drag the body to a hidden location. Okay, well, I mean... That seems pretty hidden here, right? Yeah, I don't, know. I don't think anybody will see it here. Postmen do not carry guns. Well, I'm not carrying a gun, so that should be easy enough. Pick up some flowers. Do, do I got the flowers out? No. Let's carry the flowers. I've lost your chance to play it for you. How rude. If you run, the guards will be more aware and may see through your disguise. Okay, so don't run when guards are around. That's fair. Open the door. Hello. Okay, sorry. Sorry, didn't realize I wasn't allowed in that door. My apologies, sir. Uh, do you think he's going to see the random body over there? <laughs> the guards have found the dead postman. Yep, I guess they saw it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. All right, well... <laughs> try it again i guess so i think i think we have the right idea but where are we gonna hide the postman because those trees obviously aren't doing it I mean, we could just ignore the postman entirely and try to sneak in some other way but taking his clothes and the flowers seems kind of like what they want us to do since it's like right there maybe we could put him behind this wall maybe the guards won't go out that far that's an idea Yeah, that's, that seems like a decent idea. We'll try that, I guess. Ah, uh, man. I didn't think I was close enough for you to hear me. Can I still use the fiber wire on you? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> okay. Um. Take his clothes. Take the flowers. Drag. Uh, oh, there's some guards over there. I wish we could drag him a little bit more quickly. I didn't really want him to get this far. <laughs> so, I mean, there's the chance that the guards wouldn't walk all the way over to here. Right? Maybe he just stops over there at that corner. But I'm not sure. Is he even walking over here at all this time, or? Or no. Okay, I don't see him. Maybe last time we alerted him somehow. Maybe that's why he walked over here. Oh, wait, nope, there he is. Ah! <laughs> he, dude, go! Oh my lord, can't you like throw this body up on your shoulders or something? Drag him a little bit quicker. There's a guard right freaking there, man. He's he's got to be able to see this body. <laughs> like just uh here, just get him, just get him. <laughs> oh no. Uh nothing to see here. Nope. Nothing at all. Just, just a postman being suspicious as hell. That's all. No worries. 
What about our clothes? Is he gonna be suspicious about our the random pile of clothes just laying in the, the road? Doesn't seem like we can... Oh. Doesn't seem like we can we can pick up the clothes though. Once they're there, it kind of seems like they're just there. So maybe they don't notice the clothes. Hopefully they don't notice the clothes. See, this is why stealth games aren't really my type of game though, because of how like slow everything is, right? I'm scared to run. <laughs> if I run, this dude's probably gonna try to murder me. So I'm stuck just kind of slowly walking all the way over here. I don't know why this dude's walking all the way over here as well. Maybe he's maybe he's my escort. Take me to your leader. Hello, gentlemen. I am a postman. Okay. Hopefully I'm good at hiding my weapons. Okay, nope, I'm not. I am not good at hiding my weapons. Uh. 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 I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, okay, so. The postman clothes lets us get close, but they're still gonna try to kill us either way. What's on the other side? We'll check the other side out, because we haven't really looked over there. Can't remember what this one Nate says, but you can do run and gun option, you just lose some points. Right, but they said, I don't know how true it is or anything, but they said that if, uh, if they're alerted to your presence, they'll tell the Dawn, and then the Dawn will have our, our friend killed. Is there a way to like drop stuff? You can. So maybe if I dropped the guns, they wouldn't attack me? Oh wait, that dude just went right inside over here. He wasn't stopped. Uh pick up groceries oh wait no, no 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 hold on hold on hold on place ballers pick up groceries there we are we're just we're just a humble grocery delivery man open door so you just have to look at your ally as lose points okay i'm going i'm going my bad Whoa! I didn't realize they were... I thought they were just telling me, like, to move on with the groceries here. You just have to look at your ally as loose points. I see what you're saying now. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh... I don't know about that one, Nate. <laughs> yeah, it's fine if he dies. Who cares? He's just points at the end of the day. Just a person. <laughs> God. Okay, so. Alright. What if I. Can I dress as a guard? Like. So we know where he's going. Can we be in stealth mode and still run? Do <laughs> Dawn has been alarmed. I'm trying to hook you. <laughs> oh no. We deaded. Dude, we ain't even gonna get through the first mission. I know so little about the Hitman games. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time and then we're just gonna drop the difficulty down, I think. Because we can't go in with the groceries. We can't go in with the flowers unless we drop our gun. Well, we'll hmm. Maybe if we drop our gun and then hurry up, come over and get the flowers. Because this dude presumably will take our gun in for us eventually, right? 
Because, I mean, he's carrying all the groceries, and I, I assume he's not going to stop with just one set of groceries. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to want my guns, right? Yeah, I, I assume I'm going to want my gun at some point. So, yeah, I'll, I'll drop my gun in there, in the groceries. Hopefully, he picks them up for me. Oh, you can steal enemy weapons as well? That's good to know. Alright, so we dropped our guns in there. Oh, there's the guard right here. I hadn't seen this one before. Oh, he's peeing. Get the fiber wire. He should be able to, Nate says. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. Oh no, he's done peeing. He's done peeing. Damn it. <laughs> we, we'll try one more time, actually. I, I got a plan this time. I got a plan. We got we to gotta drop our gun in the groceries. We got to kill that one random guard that's going to catch us killing the, the postman. And then we got to hurry up and get the postman. Seal his clothes in the flowers. And then find our gun. It'll be great. We got this. I wonder, can, how well can they hear gunshots and stuff? Because I kind of want to kill that dude, but if I... But I feel like... If I kill that dude... See, okay, there's one thing I want to test. Is he going to attack us on sight? Or is he even going to see us? He might not even see us. This dude's blind as shit. Okay. Well then, fuck it then. Whatever, he's fine. All right, this dude's coming out to take a whiz now, so we gotta run over here quickly. I don't know how far away he can hear us, so we'll slow down right about here. Go into stealth mode. Take out the fiber wire. Okay, get up close. Okay, okay, okay. Get rid of him. Okay. We can take his clothes. I don't know if that will actually fool anyone or not. Drag the body so at least that door doesn't, or if that door opens, it's not instantly found. And it looks like we've missed the postman already, so putting him around the corner a little bit here sounds like a pretty decent idea. Okay. Oh, is that another guard? Oh, no, that's the postman. Perfect. Okay. What's up, man? Damn it. <laughs> Guards are now looking for a suspicious bodyguard. Uh. Uh. I don't want to drag him. I want to take his clothes. Take clothes. Uh. Don't change clothes. Take flowers. No, change clothes. Uh. Pick up flowers. Uh. Drag. 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 Body. Uh, surely nobody will see this body here. <laughs> okay, can we, we can drop the pistol. Good, 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 good. Okay, hopefully they don't come this far to look for it. I'm sure they will eventually, though, so maybe we should try to be a bit quick. Sorry, I'm running a little bit late with the delivery, guys. But, uh, here we are. I'm just here to give some flowers to... Uh, whoever it is that needs flowers. No problem, no problem. I don't want no trouble here. Hey, you can fill me up all you want. That's all right. Thank you, thank you. Can I go in? You gonna let me in? Open door. 
Hey, okay, we finally made it inside at least. Okay. I mean, we have our wire. Technically, that's all we need to get rid of somebody. Okay, do we know where he's at? I'm assuming he'd be inside, maybe on the top floor or something. Hey there. Oh, dude, you got a rifle? You ain't messing around, huh? Hello. Oh, grazie dei fiori. Li stavamo aspettando. You're welcome. It's my pleasure, lady. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. I'm leaving. You don't want me here, I get it. Yep, postman not welcome. Understood. Oh, sorry, you want me to stop? A stop? Isn't that what you wanted? Can, can I leave now, or... Okay, so I don't think we're getting in that way. Maybe on the other side over here. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm trying to leave. I'm going. Chill, bruh. It's a nice car. Bro, yeah, I have no idea what to do. You're not leaving fast enough? You're not leaving fast enough. <laughs> Run away. You can't see me. I'm too fast for you. Right, there's the grocery man. Is he still searching for me, that other dude, or are we in the clear now? I mean, my red bar thing, he's still going blinky blinky pretty quick. But I think we're okay. I think maybe it's just telling us this is like a restricted area or whatever. Oh, they found the dead postman. Mr. Noodle with another five bits. Thank you, boo. Now looking through a sus for a suspicious postman. Can I can I take off my clothes? <laughs> uh, doors locked. Can I can I lockpick? Guess not. I hear somebody talking. I hear footsteps too, though. I'm sorry, Miss Chef Lady. But I need some new clothes. Sì, quella fatta in fabbrica, però. Non hanno onore, non hanno gusto, niente. I'm sorry. I don't want to do it. But I need your clothes. Oh, wait, can I not wear these clothes? I can pick up a spoon? <laughs> what is this? I just, I just want your clothes. I don't care about the rest. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, well, that's annoying. What is, what's on the table? It doesn't look like anything. Okay. Look through keyhole. Looks clear enough. Nobody in the room? 
cool, cool. Uh, what about this door? This looks like an important door. I mean, it looks empty, but I imagine as soon as I open it up, there's not going to be empty. Okay, well, this looks like a bedroom, maybe. Or an office or something. Oh, hi there. The dawn has been alarmed. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm about to die, aren't I? Uh, ballers. Okay. Reload. Ow. <laughs> Guards have found a dead bodyguard. You don't say. There's uh, there's one or two of them around here. <laughs> uh, okay, where's the dawn? Open, open. Hello, Mr. Don. I looking for you. Objective status changed. How do we see our objective? Oh, open Please briefing. This is Diana from agency. Oh. 47. This is Diana from agency. We're all happy you're back okay. doing business for us. We killed him. Arrangement we made to he's in the basement. And mentor, father. Okay, so he's got a key for a prison cell. In the basement. So we can just we can just murder everybody. Apparently that's an option. That's also leads to the roof. We're dead. <laughs> okay. Well, on that note, I think it's time that we, we go back down to normal difficulty. <laughs> uh new game. That's fine. We'll try normal difficulty. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's pretty obvious we're not made to be a uh, international super assassin or, or whatever this dude is. Can we skip the cutscenes and stuff at least since we already watched them earlier? Yeah. That's nice. Glad we can at least skip cutscenes. That's not always the case with PS2 games, you know? A lot of PS2 games you can't do that with. Also, I just realized the laptop just like magically appears. What it happens if we beat him to the confession box? Do we have to wait for him or? Or is he just gonna magically be here? I imagine we'll have to wait for him. Kinda hope we have to wait for him. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can explore a little bit while he's doing that, right? We never went upstairs before. What's up here? Just an overlook. Uh, it's locked. Okay. Look through the keyhole, though. What kind of things you hiding in here? No. Not some sort of kinky dungeon or anything? That's lame. Okay. What's over here? Uh, again, nothing really. I'm sensing a lot of nothing in this area. What is the point of this room? Oh, it must be another locked door. Lame. All right. Maybe the priest will be in the box now. By the time we make it back over there. I'm guessing that bell means he's ready. Oh, wrong way. Oh, I got an itch on my face. Padre. Skip, skip. I'm gonna get back to it pretty quick, thankfully. Skipping all the cutscenes and whatnot. Won't take very long at all. Okay. Uh, this way. Go back to our shed now. Run away, birdies. Agency, this is 47. Patch me through to Diana. I didn't realize that we just magically changed into our clothes too, like before we even get up, got in here. So let's just run through the basic routines together. 
agency just wants to make sure you're not too rusty before your first mission. Not even doing this mission for you. What are you worried about? I like your little emotes with your cheers, by the way, Mr. Noodle. They're cute. The little snowmen and... What were the other ones? Little hearts, I think they were. It's cute. If we leave our weapons behind, like say at the mission, if we had dropped the ballers in the groceries and then never went back to pick them up, would we still have it for the next mission? Like, do we automatically regain that stuff or no? Cheer wall <laughs> and uni. Which one's uni? Uni was the the uh, the heart one, or because I mean the snowman kind of it like switches between a snowman head and and a a unicorn like thing, you know, or, or narwhal like. I don't know. It's got a it's got a horn on its head. <laughs> It's a heart with a unicorn. Oh, okay, okay. So this is cheer wall then, the snowman thingy. I, I don't know why you put it in all caps. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Okay, so I think we had the right kind of plan though, right? Drop the stuff over here. Are there less guards in this mode? In the normal mode. Yeah, I don't see any guards out here now. Wonder if there will still be a guard on the other side of this here. Door? No. Oh, and there's already a 9mm pistol in there? In both of these? Holy crap. Okay. Swimming in the... Narwhal, narwhal, swimming in the ocean. Y'all are terrible. <laughs> I didn't expect it to uh, make it like this much easier, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm not complaining because obviously we needed the help, but. Uh, where are the five wire? There it is. Get rid of him real quick. Hopefully nobody will find him this time. Take clothes. Drag the body. Since there's less guards, I'm hoping uh, just by taking him to the other side here will be enough. At least now we kind of know where we're going to. That helps a lot. Okay, drop body. I mean, might as well pick up the 9 mil. I don't see any reason not to. But we can holster for now so we don't draw extra suspicion from anybody. Mechanically, I like the game. Like the, it's kind of like a puzzle game, right? Have to figure out all the right steps and everything to to win. That's neat. I'm a guard. I'm a guard. What are y'all yelling about? I'm allowed in here. Chill, bro. Okay, our suspicion is low, so hopefully it's okay to run now. I forgot how we got in last time exactly, but... Um, I don't think it was this way. Although this should work. Yeah, 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 this should work. Get in right here. Just try not to get, like, right up against any guards, because... Uh... Ah, shit. Uh, hello? The anesthetic isn't doing anything. 
<laughs> okay, shootout it is. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so mad. The easy mode and we're still getting screwed. <laughs> I think we've proved one thing. Stealth games aren't for me. <laughs> I don't even know who originally saw us and told us to, to stop. I thought we were in the clear. So we'll try again, though. Same same thing we did. I, I still think it was a decent strategy. Could have worked. Should have worked. Okay, we know this guy's going to come out. And while we're here, we can look at the map. It does show us a nice map of the whole area. Oh, it even shows us where some of the people are on the map. That's kind of OP. Your position, target enemy, innocent police, VIP. Point of interest. Are there any point of interest? The garage. Oh, it must be that car. Hmm. Okay. Oh, shoot. Does time still move while we're doing that stuff? Do, 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 no one here. Thank you. I will take your pistol and your clothes. We'll go ahead and drag you back around the other side, just like last time. Hopefully it's not, okay. So hopefully his head's not like stuck on there or something because I can't see anything with the tree. If you run, the guards will be more wary. That's fine. Perfectly understandable. Look through keyhole. Okay, I mean, it looks clear. Okay. Can we just like steal the car and leave? <laughs> I mean, I know we're here to, like, save our friend and everything, but could just steal the car and leave, right? Escape in a car. Okay, so, yeah, we probably won't want to do that until later. Okay, don't imagine we'll be able to get around those guys, but maybe this guy here just cost some points. Yeah, man, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody dying just doesn't seem like the the uh, the answer that I want to go for. <laughs> it's a dark little hallway. Okay. I don't know Italian, but I'm pretty sure she's talking about pasta and pizza. I mean, you're just a cook. You're not going to try to, like, kill us or anything, are you? Nope. <laughs> I don't know if she can see us, but if she can, I feel like we just got way too close. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think she really cares about us one way or the other. Okay. So far, so good. So now we just need to find our way up. I don't remember exactly how to get up. But I do remember we need to go. Okay. I say we skip that room. <laughs> Doesn't look like a good room for us. I don't know. Maybe this one will be a little bit better. <laughs> Okay, this one looks pretty decent, but I don't think that had anything to do with the way up. Okay, that's the guy I think that actually caught us last time. Okay, what's this one? This is just a room. Okay, nope. So we'll try the middle one. Hello? Just another room, huh? A lot of shotgun ammo, though. Oh, we're full. Well, that's no help. 
Why put all this ammo here if we can't even use it? Okay, I'm assuming shooting a bunch would set off some sort of alarm, so we probably don't want to do that. What was this one? Okay, that's the, the cook. Was it this way then? Ooh, okay, maybe this is the way. Hi. How are you? Ow. Ow, shoot. The dawn has been alarmed. Okay, well, you know what? Shoot up. Oh, wait, you're fine. You're fine. Sorry. I have nothing. Nothing against you, lady. Can we, can we shoot people, please? Oh, well, that was the dawn, right? <laughs> the guards have found the dead brother. Uh, <laughs> yeah, about that. I need to shoot, please. The guards are now on alert. Ooh, pick up car key. Oh, this wasn't the Dawn. This was the Dawn's brother. Hi, maid. Okay. I, look, I, I don't want anything to do with you, maid. Y'all are fine. I don't care about you. You seem innocent enough. Uh, where is the Dawn? If you tell me where the Dawn is, I'll let you keep your life. How about that? Was it this room? Nope. Was it this room? Mm, maybe. This looks familiar. Guards have found the dead mafia boss. Did you, though? Did you find the dead mafia boss for... Or did you did you watch me murder him? Because <laughs> looks like you may have watched me kill him. I'm not sure. Can only carry one rifle at a time. Okay. Pick up pistol ammo. Can't carry any more pistol ammo. So now we need to go to the basement, I guess. How do we get to the basement? I don't know. Mag ammo. What is mag ammo? Oh, we'll carry it though. Oh hi. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Weren't we in here before? Diana, he's not in the basement. They must have moved. Forty-seven. This is Diana from A. Okay. You're probably right. Recent satellite footage suggests a priest being dragged along by four bearded Russian-looking types in uniform. Okay, what's the objective status now, then? Diana from agency. Oh, okay, so just leave. So I guess we didn't really need to deal with all that. We could have just... I can't believe we passed that door so many times. And never checked in there. And that's where the dude was the entire time. <laughs> Oh, but I guess we didn't have the key to get in it, huh? And presumably, we couldn't pick that lock. Rating. Mass murder. Stealth. Barely. Aggression. High. Cool. <laughs> sure, save. I, <laughs> we are not good at this. Oh, no. I kind of want to watch an all-stealth speed run of this game. I think that'd be fun. I don't know if they have that. Like a pacifist run. But done quickly. But yeah, I think we've pretty much decided at this point that we're going to play it run and gun. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> we are not good. So we've collected 9mm pistol. 9mm pistol SD, whatever that is. Pick up all the 45 ACP, because that's what our ballers use. And then we definitely want to pick up... Wait, do we still have the fiber wire? Oh, okay, we do. I was going to get upset there for a second. And screw it, yeah, sure, pick up a shotgun too. Holster... That's how you holster it, just by holding it. 
Can I still use the ballers while I got this out? No, okay. That's fine, then we'll just leave it here. Okay, what do we do now? I guess we just go back to our laptop, maybe? Yeah, okay. Simple enough. 47, Diana here. Sorry that you've had so little luck at the mansion. It's really hard to tell where Vittorio was taken. We lost track of him in the airport. The agency does, however, feel that we fulfilled our end of the deal and expect you to comply with the terms by completing a minor assignment in St. Petersburg. Your objective is to take out an ex-KGB officer participating in a secret meeting, solely arranged so that you can take a clean shot at this officer. The meeting is taking place at 1300 hours today in the Pushkin building in Varozhnyi Square. The room is on the second floor in the west wing, overlooking the square. The windows are marked on the attached image. The building is the former FSB headquarters and can only be accessed from the square. There's one main entrance and a back entrance, both heavily guarded by FSB paramilitary personnel. The target must be eliminated during the meeting, which is scheduled to last five minutes. Absolutely nobody in the meeting room except the target must be harmed. This is very important, 47. Upon arrival by Metro, you will find your equipment and paraphernalia in locker 137 at the station. Your escape route is returning with the train. Avoid all contacts with soldiers and guards. They are instructed to remove any civilians from the area. Okay. This sounds complicated. What is this video? Is this just of the area or whatever? I'm not really sure what the point of this video is. Is that the guy we're looking for? Okay, so is that where we start in the lockers? I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. Let's just go, I guess. <laughs> See how this goes. Available weapons, okay. Well, probably want the ballers. And I think that's it, really. That's fun. That's all we need. Continue. St. Petersburg. It's seen its share of bullets on the train over the years. Not an easy place for a comeback. I suspect both guards and soldiers here are well trained and highly suspicious of foreigners. I have to rely on the element of surprise. They don't expect me. And if I keep it cool, clean, and quiet, they'll never know what hit them. Now, let's find Locker number 137. Okay. We should be able to do that much at least, right? Just find the locker. They're not looking for me or anything. So we should be good. Lockers are right there, it looks like. How do we know which locker's which? Will it tell us once we get close? Oh, okay, yeah, we can actually see on them. Perfect. Oh, 
Oh, damn, okay. Sniper ammo. I mean, we'll take it. I never know when we're going to get a hold of a sniper, I guess. Wait, didn't I just see... Officers are arriving at the building. Looks like the meeting is starting... Yeah, pick up the sniper the rifle. Be ready, 47. Pick up the pistol ammo, too. Do we have... No, we don't have it. Pick up... Pick up the sniper. For... I, I want the sniper, please. Is it possible to hide it? Kind of. <laughs> okay. So those are... It. Oh. This is big. This is much bigger than I expected. can't imagine walking around with a sniper will get any uh, attention from the guards or anything. I'm sure that'll be fine. Are there stairs up around here somewhere? Yeah, there's some right there. You can't see me. My back is turned. I'm allowed to be here. That's a brick wall. Is there a guard watching or anything? No, okay. Other side maybe then? There we go, that's better. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm, just to be perfectly clear and honest here. Oh. Guards are looking for a suspicious bald person. Wonder who that could be. I think maybe carrying around the sniper wasn't a good idea. I missed. Oh no. That's so hard to aim. <laughs> okay. Uh, just switch to the ballers. Dead. Perfect. Everything is fine. Nobody saw or heard anything. <laughs> where is... Where's the... Where are we supposed to be going? All the way over there? Dude, we're so screwed. We're so screwed. There's no way. Alright, um... Map. So we... Not this way. We. Oh wait, there's roadblocks. Okay, so we want to like cut through the alley maybe? Like, they're definitely going to see the dude walking with the freaking sniper rifle right up to them, though, right? Like, even if you were to sneak, that wouldn't really change anything. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Uh... Five more bits, Mr. Noodle. Thank you. This is not... This is not going well. <laughs> we are doing so bad. They found dead soldiers. Uh... Okay, it's fine. As long as they don't see us, then, then everything will be fine. It's fine. I'm just a normal citizen of uh, wherever it is we are again. 
Just out for an evening stroll. Nothing to see here. Yeah, Nate, you say that a lot, and then I don't end up being able to do it. <laughs> I mean, I guess we get it eventually, but... Okay, open a map. Um... Okay, so we actually want to kind of go this way and wrap around. It is this way we want to go. Okay. Now would be a great time to have that sniper rifle. It's kind of too bad that I don't. The meeting will begin in five minutes. Are they already here? Oh, I'm four dead. Seven. The meeting will begin in four minutes. Get ready. I am dead. Sadly, I don't think this is really a game for me. It doesn't seem like it's a bad game or anything. It just seems like the type of game that's not for me, you know? I mean, like, to be fair, I already knew that stealth games weren't, generally speaking, my kind of thing. So going into it, I kind of knew already that it wasn't going to be, but I was still excited for it. I thought I would end up enjoying it a little bit more than I did. And I do, I do really like the puzzle elements. I think that's kind of neat. But it's just, I don't like all the waiting and the very slowly walking and stuff like that. They're not bad gameplay elements at all or anything. It's just not how I like to play games. Of course, while saying that, though, I have been known to play a stealth uh, archer in, like, Skyrim and stuff like that, too. So, I mean, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. But uh, we'll take the ammo. Might as well take the sniper ammo, too. I don't see any reason not to. 47. Officers are arriving at the building. Looks like the meeting is starting ahead of schedule. Be ready, 47. Okay, so if we grab the sniper rifle, we're pretty much guaranteed to be seen and to be found suspicious. But if we just don't take the sniper rifle, then we should be fine, right? Where does the rail line go? Of course, if I go down there, I don't know if I'll be able to get back up. Map. Doesn't really show where the rail line goes either, so. Guess we just won't do that for now. Okay, so we can try to sneak into the meeting area. And go about it that way, maybe. That's something we can try and do. Or... See, if we had the sniper rifle, we could try to do it from outside, though, and shoot in. But there's so many soldiers and stuff around. I Like, how are we going to get around them all without them seeing us? See, and that's where, like, my patience and, and just the way I don't want to deal with it, basically, <laughs> comes into play. Because we probably could have got the sniper rifle and then snuck up around. Here, because there's not a lot of soldiers in this area, it looks like. Okay, we're in the no-go zone now, so we have to avoid everybody at this point, it seems like. I'm assuming just we're going to be shot on sight if we're not wearing soldier's outfit from pretty much here on out. What's up there? Can we go around this building? I don't want to get off the main road area. Ooh, what is this? Maybe we found something useful? Going into the sewers? I guess the real question is, do these sewers come up anywhere near the building we need to be in? Maybe. 
maybe. There's a bunch of mice. Okay, well, maybe not, because it looks like we're cut off on both sides here. Shoot. Um. Okay, well, we can go back down this way. Let's try to find another ladder and see where it takes us up at, basically. Tis the plan. That's another dead end on both sides. A little dark in here. Okay, this kind of goes off to the side. Maybe we can go up over here somewhere. I hear something above us. Sounds like a, a engine running or something. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely some people talking up here. Which probably means this is not somewhere I want to be. Ooh. Can we, can we catch a ride in the back of the truck? Where are we, though? Well, no, we're in the, the sewer now. Um, streets. Uh, I don't think it shows us where we're at in relation, though. So that's not particularly helpful. Okay, now maybe we can check the map. Okay, so this took us where we don't want to be. <laughs> That's, uh, yep, 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 nope. Okay, well, it, says, it doesn't say anything about them being alerted or anything, at least, so we should be okay. I mean, they obviously saw us, but at least if they're not on high alert or whatever, then we should be okay. I didn't see anything about them looking for a suspicious bald man or anything again. <laughs> okay, so if that takes us there... Then the one we came in seems like the as far in as we can get. So we just picked a bad spot to go down into the sewers. At least we made friends with the rats along the way. Kind of. I can't help but notice the alert meter is still kind of raising up a little bit. So maybe they are looking for us a little bit more now. Or maybe we're alerting the rats. <laughs> can, can the rats be suspicious of our presence? All right, so we're back where we started, which is actually good. I think that's, I think this is where we want to be. Okay, I hear a guard. We can, the meeting will begin in five minutes. we can probably sneak around him or maybe even kill him. Maybe he has a, uh, maybe he'll have some sort of rifle, hopefully with a scope on it. Okay, it looks like he might have some sort of rifle on him. Here we go. Just don't turn around. Everything's okay, just, just go to sleep. Go to sleep. I actually, and I don't think he'll be seen here either, which is nice. Now we'll pick up the AK and the clothes. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe this is a good thing. I wish we could shoot a little bit farther than just with an AK on its own. Okay, the meeting's taking place in that room there, right? Uh, briefing. Diana here. Sorry that you've had so little luck at the mansion. 
it's really hard to seven tell saves remaining we lost track of him wait no there. around the side is yeah, where they're gonna be seen so around this side over here actually right I'm pretty sure that's what it was showing was this side over here the meetings happening soon 47 the meeting will begin in three minutes it's about right, time three minutes we Gucci no worries BB so right there in those rooms you are also using an AK that's too bad so I guess now we just kind of wait just kind of just kind of chill here and 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 Wait for the meeting to happen, I guess, yeah. In theory, we should see them in the windows there. 47, the meeting will begin in two minutes. You're running out of time, 47. I'm in position. I'm waiting for the meeting. Are those corgis, Mr. Noodle? save you can save like in the middle of the mission it'll just bring me right back to here never played this game before i have no idea i saw something about saying like seven saves remaining though so it makes sense or go oh okay Save successful, okay. Let's continue. So now, presumably, we can just start back over from the same position should we uh, get a little screwed. I feel like I see somebody walking around in there. But I'm not positive if that's just my eyes playing tricks on me and that's just the snow, or if I actually saw Somebody walking around. In the meantime, you know what we should do is check the photo. It's just showing us that crap. Okay. Time slot is slipping fast. We're in position. The lady's making me more nervous than anything. She's making me feel like I'm doing it wrong here. <laughs> Another five bits. Thank you so much, Mr. Noodle. What's this one called? I mean, I can see that they're hearts, but I'm assuming it has a fancy name as well. Starting now, 47. It's crucial you get in position immediately. Okay, I'm in position. I'm in position. Calm down. Show love. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Did I bring the binoculars? I did. Good. Okay. I'm in position, but I don't see anything. There are guards coming, so I can't just be standing out in the open. Where's the guards at? He's coming that way. Forty-seven. The meeting is over. You missed Wait, your what? opportunity. Wait, what? But you still have a contractual obligation, forty-seven, and it may be possible to intercept the target with a head-on approach at the meeting place. Be careful, 47. It's heavily guarded. At the meeting place. 47, here we go. I'm leafing through some private footage from last year. Hang on, 47. Looks like he's right-handed. Okay, I'm sure that it would help me if I could even see the dude. I have a feed from the data Might leave through the front door. Medical profile. Apparently, he drinks a lot. I'm 
try to loop around to the front. I don't know how quickly they'll leave. Okay, he's bald, he drinks a lot, and he's right-handed. Forty-seven. It appears he's a non-smoker. Non-smoker. Okay. None of this stuff is particularly helping me. If I open the map, will it show me anything about the target? There's a point of interest over there. Maybe I should go check that out. Yeah, let me see if I can get in that point of interest. It's one of these buildings right here. Was it the one that I was hiding out behind? Open map, yeah. Can I get in it? Probably should have looked through the keyhole before I just barged in. That would have been smart, but too late now. Here's somebody. I don't know where. Doesn't appear to be anybody. Where are those footsteps coming from? Okay. I have no idea what this point of interest is. Oh, maybe it was just like a vantage point or something. So I can get up to the rooftop from here, presumably. Seems like a pretty decent place to do the shot from, but it doesn't help me now. Uh, just go ahead and pick the lock. I think we're pretty much screwed on this one anyways, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe it'd be worth reloading from that save. Hi there. Yep, yep. Yeah, you're suspicious of me. I, I get it. I don't blame you, honestly. How many flight of stairs are there? My lord. It's okay, just just pretend you never saw me. We'll just we'll just shoot it out. We're all friends here. It's fine. See? Everything's okay. <laughs> okay. Um Open map. That's where I was supposed to do it at, I'm fairly sure. Briefing. General at the meeting. Don't harm anyone else attending the meeting. Six days remaining. Okay, let's go ahead and try to load. Maybe I maybe I missed it somewhere. Maybe they entered and I, I was just blind to it or something. Or maybe I need to be up higher to see in. Or maybe like Andy said here, maybe uh, maybe I could see them leaving through the front door after the meeting. Uh, he'll probably see through me if I uh, get too close to him. I feel like it'd probably be best to not do that. Begin in one minute. Your time slot is slipping fast, 47. Okay, uh, binoculars. Maybe. Maybe I had it backwards. Maybe it is the other side. Briefing, photo. Sorry that you've had so little That's luck definitely this side. Pretty certain. Uh, 
I don't think these guys at the front door are going to let me in. That seems like a lost cause. The meeting is starting now, 47. It's crucial you get in position immediately. Yeah, that didn't help me at all last time, so I'm trying something different, Diana. Is there a back door or something that they'll be trying to escape from? No. Okay. Oh, wait. That is a back door. That's odd. 47, here we go. I'm leafing through some private footage from last What's year. Up? Hang on, 47. Looks like he's right-handed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Hi. 47, I have a feed from the database regarding his medical profile. Wait, that wasn't the target? He was bald, right? <laughs> Man, I thought we had it. Like, obviously it wasn't a clean kill, but I thought we got the kill at least. That wasn't even the right guy. He was bald. How many bald dudes are chilling at this building right now? Okay, we were able to get inside though without people just instantly like uh, murdering us, getting scared of us. So maybe, maybe we'll be okay if we go inside. Okay, we want to. Forty-seven. Here we go. I'm leafing through some private footage from last year. Hang on, forty-seven. Looks like he's right-handed. Yep. Okay. He's right-handed. Gotcha. Forty-seven. I have a feed from the database regarding his medical profile. Apparently, he drinks a lot. Okay. Why are you telling us all this right now? Oh. Hold on, 47. I've got a personal file right here with a recent photo. Oh, wait. So that was the right guy. I must have accidentally killed him. Oh, no. I give up. <laughs> I give up. What the, what the hell am I supposed to do? Uh, okay, now we want to load from that one again. So it's definitely not that guy. <laughs> I didn't see anybody else bald in there. Okay, but they are definitely higher up in that building because they're all like sitting there. Can we get in here? Good, because that guard's gonna be coming down though. Oh, oh, maybe. Forty-seven. The meeting will begin in one minute. Your time slot is slipping fast. Forty-seven. Okay, binoculars. Hold on. Is this door closed behind me? It did. Good, good. I really wish we had the sniper rifle. It appears that a total of four generals have joined the meeting. I need extra information to pinpoint my target. That sounds strange, 47, and unexpected. Here's what I've got. The okay. target is about 60 years old. Right there. A general in uniform. Right there. Do That's not him. Execute until you have an absolute positive That's him. on the target, 47. I'll check the files for more detailed info. Be back with you in a sec. Stay tuned. Uh, where'd he go, though? 47, here we go. I'm leafing through some private footage from last year. Right there. Hang on, 47. Looks like he's right-handed. Where is... That narrows it down, but still no positive ID. My time slot is slipping. Guards are alerted. Oh, that was the wrong dude, too? You're in serious trouble Explore now. the building a bit more. 
He looked bald under his cap. <laughs> I guess he wasn't. Or he was, and there's just a lot of bald guys in that room. That's possible, too, I suppose. Yeah, I will. I'll explore this building a bit more. I was hoping the first time I explored it, I'd be able to find, like, a way to the roof and maybe a, uh... A sniper rifle or something. I don't know if maybe I just didn't get high enough in it, or... If it was a lost cause. But I definitely wasn't getting anything from this room, so... Uh, pick locked. Can I do it quick enough? 47, the meeting will begin in one minute. Your time slot is slipping fast, 47. Okay, keep trying to go up. Um... If they catch me picking the lock, they might get alerted, but... Come on, 47. Quickly now. Thank you. Flip store. Okay. We have a slightly better view, but still no rifle. We really kind of need a rifle here. Something with a little bit more range on it. Well, even if I run out of time, I can still use this time to explore so I can get here quicker next time. Okay, just keep going up. Door. Door. Bunch of doors. Okay. Is this where I was last time? No, okay. Hey, is that Isaac? Thank you for the five bits as well, but isn't that Isaac? Okay, we're in like the attic now, but it doesn't seem to be anything up here except for possibly a bird flying around. Which isn't... It says Bible Thump, that's it. You missed your opportunity. Yeah, 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 I know I missed the opportunity. Calm down. have a contractual obligation, 47, and it may be possible to intercept the target with a head-on approach at the meeting place. Be careful, 47. It's heavily guarded. Let me see. Nothing here. 47, here we go. I'm leafing through some private footage from last year. I mean, this would be a pretty good vantage point, but again, no rifle, though. Forty-seven, I have a feed from the database regarding his medical profile. Apparently, he drinks a lot. Wanted to see. <clears throat> Wonder if he would have made it out yet. Hold on, forty-seven. I've got. Just curious which way he would have been leaving. Photo. Forty-seven. He's bald. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep searching around. So I'm, I'm really hoping we can find a rifle or something. This just back right up into the same room again. So that's no help. There's got to be something I'm missing in this this building here. Unless it was just a point of interest because it gives you extra vantage points. Which, I mean, maybe that's all it is. I don't know. Tempted to try from the beginning again. Because maybe we could get the sniper rifle brought in. Instead of loading from the save. And then we can get in this building. I'm just wondering if I'm carrying the wrong kind of gun if the guards will notice. That's the only thing I'm really worried about right now. We can still use a head-on approach at the meeting point, but where was the meeting point? That's the other option. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's just restart the mission from the beginning. We're going to grab the sniper and see if I can't sneak around. Presumably, I can reload from that same save, though, if I end up needing to do it that way. 
I only got about 14-ish minutes left to try to finish this up. Hopefully we can get it. Okay, so we know our locker's right over here. That guard's gonna walk around down that way. We just have to be careful not to be seen. Otherwise, people will be looking for a suspicious looking bald man. Okay, pick up the sniper. I don't think we need the night vision. I see no reason not to pick it up though. Take the sniper rifle. Take the sniper ammo. Hopefully we'll only need the one shot, but just in case. We can holster it, that might make us a little less sus suspicious. Okay, that dude is walking toward us, it looks like. Is he gonna stop at some point, maybe turn around? Okay, maybe he won't look down this hallway here. 47. Officers are arriving at the building. Looks like the meeting is there we go. ahead of schedule. Be ready, 47. Mm, trying to be ready. Okay, at the top of here, we have to worry about some guards. But if we just slip right into the alley, hopefully we won't be seen by anybody. Okay, somebody saw us there. Maybe we can get away in time. As long as they don't get an ID on us, I think we'll be fine. I don't think he knows where we went. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. The suspicion meter seems to be getting less and less active. I, I think we're okay. Okay, just run over to here now. These guys aren't paying us any mind. They don't care. Alright. So far, so good. Oh, and then, of course, now we know that we can save. So we might as well do that. I see no reason not to save over that other one. But we'll just save over the first one there. Okay, we're going to try to kill this guard, take his clothes, and by doing that we should attract a little less suspicion. And then if we get up on the second or third floor of the point of interest, we should be able to get a better view down into the building, the meeting room. And then we know it's, well, we're fairly certain it's not the, the one that's all fancy dressed. And she did say something about him wearing normal military uniform, so there's that. It didn't seem to be that one that was walking back and forth from window to window. I guess that would have been a little too easy. <laughs> Unless, of course, we, uh, our AK somehow killed more than one person in there. But I, I don't think that's the case. Okay, five minutes. Should be fine. It's plenty of time to get in position. Just gotta get rid of this guy and get his clothes. I don't think it ever said anything about them finding a missing guard or a dead guard last time until, you know, we started killing random guards all over the place. So his body should be fine here. Take that. Go back and pick up our sniper rifle. Keep it holstered. Looks... Uh, I mean, it doesn't really look like an AK, but... Four minutes, four minutes, gotcha. Okay, no, I'm wearing... Or, wearing... Carrying the wrong gun, but none of you care about that, right? Yeah, none of you care about that. It's close enough to the gun y'all are using. Oh, there's a agent dude, though. I'd rather stay away from him if possible. I feel like he might be a little more suspicious of us than these uh, normal soldier types. Okay. Yep. Well. Forty-seven. The meeting will begin in three. Yeah, minutes. three minutes. I know. I got gotcha. you. Can you, can you move any faster, please? 
I need you to move away. Just trying to get to this door. I feel like I have less time this time than I did the first time. <laughs> before I felt like I had way too much time. This time it's like, uh, I gotta rush. Okay, the next floor would be preferable. The meeting will begin in two minutes. You're running out of time, 47. Yes, yes, I know. Hi. Shoot. Yep. Hey, how you doing, bud? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Forty-seven. The meeting will begin in one minute. One minute. Got it. Slot is slipping fast. Forty-seven. Yep, yep, yep. I hear you, lady. Okay, so that one's locked, but this one. Okay, this is locked too. Pick lock. Hey, another five bits and number one. Congrats, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Very happy for you, love. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, okay, door automatically closed. That's good. Okay. Diana. Is it this one? He kind of looks... He kind of looks bald-ish. That one's smoking, so it's definitely not him. Oh, you know what? Save. Duh. A quiet place in okay, never mind. And Guess we can't. Here's what I've got. So one, two, that one's smoking, so that's not him. General, Three, the other one walking around. So it's gotta be this one. Until you have an I mean there's that yeah, because that one over there is smoking, so is that one. I'll check the files for more detailed info. Be back with you in a sec. Stay. Forty seven, you took out the wrong target. Did I kill two people? Shit, I might have killed two people. I was getting nervous that they were going to leave. So I just hurry up and took the shot. But I think I accidentally shot two of them. Sorry, we got time. Try one more time. All right. The meeting will begin. All right, uh, get our wire ready. Sneak up on him. Sneak up on this guy. Can you go into sneak mode? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Glad he didn't hear that. <laughs> Looked a little bit like we brushed his back whenever we missed there, but uh, he didn't seem to notice, so it's fine. It's all fine. Hey, gotta be quick. We don't have as much time as we thought we did. Uh, I'm still not sure if holstering helped or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyways. The meeting will begin in four okay, minutes. four minutes. There are people over there, so feels like the best way to get there would be here. And I wonder maybe if we just run straight for it. If we stay far enough away from everybody, hopefully nobody will get too suspicious. And then we can beat those guys that were getting in our way. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Okay, get into here. Get up. Okay, it sounds like he's close. We don't see him. 47, the meeting will begin in three minutes. It's about time, 47. Hurry up and pick the lock. Quickly, please. Thank you. Close door. Open door. Beautiful. Okay, can we save this time? Just in case we do take the wrong shot. Yeah. 
Cool. Let's do that. That way, if we screw it up, at least we'll not have to do all that again. Always takes so long to save on a PS2. Right now I'm nervous, so it's making it feel like it's taking so much longer. I don't want to screw it up again. Okay, save successful. Let's crouch down a little bit. Diana. Okay. It appears that a total of four generals have joined the meeting. I need extra so there's information this to one. my target. That sounds strange, 47. And unexpected. Here's what I've got. The target is about 60 years old. A general in uniform. Do not general in uniform. Until you have an absolute positive ID on the target, 47. So we got those two sitting down. Detailed info. Be back with you in a sec. Okay, those two are both smoking that are sitting back there, so it can't be those two. I thought it was this one. Here we go. I'm leafing through some private footage from last year. Hang on, 47. I'm still thinking it could be this one and we just accidentally killed two of them with one shot. That narrows it down, but still no positive ID. My time slot is slipping. Any additional info? 47, I have a feed from the database regarding his medical profile. Drinks a lot. Apparently he drinks a lot. What's this one back here doing? Is he smoking it's or close, drinking? He's smoking. One hundred percent ID. Hold on, forty-seven. I've got his personal file right here with a recent photo. Forty-seven. He's bald. Everybody looks bald with their hats on. Forty-seven. It appears he's a non-smoker. Okay. Again, that takes out the back two people. I have visible contact and positive ID. What? Do you though? I'm not sure we do. Okay, that guy was like wearing an eye patch. I feel like it would have said something about if they wore an eye patch, right? Guards are alerted. Okay, so it was the right one. We must have just accidentally killed two. Guards are on alert, so we got to be a little bit more careful now. All we got to do is try to escape. We can probably drop this to be a little less, you know, suspicious. <laughs> All we got to do is get back. Careful, careful. So far, so good. I don't see anybody really looking. These guys don't even seem like they're on that high of alert. They all just seem like they're kind of chilling still. Same as they were before. If we do a large enough circle around you, I don't think you'll get too suspicious. Okay, you got a little suspicious, but we stopped running and that was good enough. Awesome. Cool, cool. Okay, we know the guard up here is dead, so we don't have to worry about him seeing us or anything like that. Which means we can circle around, climb up here, and then just go the same way back that we came through. Could change back into our clothes, but... I mean, I guess that would make us a little more... Like, a little easier to pick out. I'm not looking like a soldier. Okay, how are these guys? They are still all chilling over there. There's one guy walking towards my entrance, though. Not a fan of that. Is he gonna leave? Okay, he's walking through there. That's actually, that's okay. That's not bad. We can just follow him. Then we could take him out, but we can probably just make our way around him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Assuming he's not just gonna, like, turn around. I think we'll be fine. Just... Stay back. Because, I mean, we look like a soldier, so he shouldn't be too suspicious if he just sees us from the back walking down this alleyway. Unless, you know, he sees the barcode tattoo on the back of our head. That looks a little suspicious, but... 
Okay, now we should be good. Just uh, slowly walk our way right down here. Okay, and then where's the actual exit though that we wanna that we wanna go to? That dude got that was pretty scared right there. Not gonna lie, that suspicious meter got really high. <laughs> Okay, he's not following us or anything though, so we're okay. All right, and then map. Oh, okay, well, it's not showing us anything probably because we're not all the way down here. Or do we just get on the train? Yep, yeah. okay, cool. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> fun game. For a certain crowd, I imagine. Definitely not my style of game, but I can see why so many people really like these games though. It makes sense to me at least, but I don't think it's necessarily for me. We'll save anyways, just in case I ever do decide to come back to it, of course. But on that note though, I do think that's all the time I have for tonight. It's been a couple hours and that's all I usually do for most of these games, unless of course it's one of the games I'm trying to finish. But right now that is Lord of the Rings The Third Age. And I've been doing that usually Sundays and Wednesdays, but uh, every once in a while I'll do it a different day. Or maybe not one of those days, you know, depending on how busy I am with other things. Um, but yeah, and of course this has been part of the PS2 Gauntlet. For anybody watching that doesn't know what the PS2 Gauntlet is, I'm trying to collect and stream a bit of every North American PS2 game, at least all the ones that I can stream. I'm trying to collect those ones still, of course, but yeah, I can't stream a couple, so, you know, I won't. But <laughs> regardless, though, it's been pretty fun, guys. I'm, uh, I'm glad I tried it out, and I'm definitely willing to try out some more of the Hitman games. I just don't think it's necessarily for me. But yeah, that's all I have time for. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Mr. Noodle, of course, with all the bits tonight. Really appreciate that. Nate, if you're still uh, around, I appreciate you being here earlier, bud. Always good to see you. And Andy Lurker, thank you for coming in and uh, putting up with all the pain, I'm sure, of uh, watching me be terrible at this game here. <laughs> but all right. Bye-bye, everyone. Goodbye, Mr. Noodle.